Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera dan salam Malaysia Madani. Uh, saya masukkan uh, ke saya masukkan ke udara lagi nak. <laughs> Tapi kali yeah. ini kita bersama dengan uh, seorang atlet wanita yeah. uh, yang rambut dia panjang mengurai, senyumannya manis. <laughs> orang Siapa? dia memang cantik. Oh, Cai si men. Kita punya apa production manager kita Cik Ling ke kita suka. Cool. <laughs> Okey, sama nak kita kenal dengan okay. atlet kita Ah, Kita bersama dengan uh, atlet squash negara ah. S. Siva Sanggari oh, Siva Sanggari Itu dia <laughs> Ui. Hai, nak nak bagi apa? Nama ah. uh, nak bagi Siva manja, Sanggari ni uh, panjang sangat ah, ah. Uh, Nama manja Nama manja Mami panggil, daddy panggil apa dia? Sanggari Sanggari oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Itu kalau coach panggil? Coach dekat US, ramai orang panggil saya Siva Siva Sebab easy Oh, easy, easy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Kalau ahem ahem Awak tanya soalan Panggil ada, ada Tak ada ke lagi belum ada Tak panggil nama lah Belum lah Darling Nama manja lah Nama manja lah Rasi lah Oh bagus Dia semangat Semangat untuk training tu Siva Sanggari Merupakan atlet squash Orita kebangsaan Kalau ikut ranking Di Malaysia sekarang Siva is number one I drop to number three now Now Oh Kalau di Asia Asia Four or five. Oh, four or five. Yeah. Okey lagi. Uh, Siva Sanggari. Itu dah hebat uh, juga lah. Oh, hebat. Hebat. Bukan okey lah. Kan? Itu uh, memang hebat. <laughs> mana ada sukan yang kau lawan dinding? Semua lawan <laughs> open and one by one tau. Squash je lawan dinding. Betul lah. Eh? Betul. <laughs> Masa saya muda, saya pernah uh, main uh, squash juga dengan uh, legend lama lah. Ayah uh, Anol ni. Oh, Raymond. <laughs> Raymond ni. Raymond, uh, yes. Dulu sebenarnya dia... Bekas goalkeeper Selangor tau. Second oh. keeper selepas mendiang R. R. Mugam. Oh. Ini betul. Dan uh, cuma kita nak tahu. Apa ni? Siba uh, hometown kat mana? Saya berasal dari Kedah. Um, Studio uh, yeah. jauh. Tak dengar suara Kedah langsung. <laughs> Kedah kat mana? Born in Sungai Petani. Tapi when I was young. Like one year old, two years old. Move to Alostar. So ever since then. I My family. I grew up there. Mana sekarang mm-hmm. family di Alostar? No, uh, at the age of 15, end of end of 15, the year 15, uh, when I was 15 years old, yeah. I moved to KL. So oh. now my whole family duduk kat Bukit Jalil je. Oh, dekat lah. Oh, dekat. <laughs> Baik, kalau kata duduk di Alustar, uh, siapa orang yang pertama yang memperkenalkan uh, rakyat squash kepada Siva? So, um, I... Join squash from my school, yeah. sekolah rendah, uh, Taman Rakyat. Taman so, Rakyat. they have macam program, uh, ta- uh, talent identification program. Yes. So, um, the time uh, I was one of them, me and my brother. So, I suddenly, co- I have elder brother. So, I always follow him anywhere. Like, we tried a lot of sports, even squash. Kita pergi sekali. And then, um, as a group, we went uh-huh. We went to a squash court. The main coach is Chong Pak Kau. Uh-huh. Uh, he's the main uh, kedah coach for juniors, especially... Beginners lah, the one ah. coming up, the one he chooses. So, from there lah, I started my squash career. Oh. Yeah. You, uh, your brother pun uh, memang masuk dalam program juga? Ah, Memang, when we were young, I started when I was eight. My brother, my brother is two years older than me. So, maybe about ten, seven, eight, I started. So, ah, my brother pun dalam program. Tapi, my brother, when going to take SPM, he slowed down lah. Mm-hmm. He slowed down a bit and then... When pergi college, main untuk college, like oh. that je lah, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Maknanya, uh, Kedah ni kalau Sukmah kuat lah. Ada Aina, ada... Aifa, uh, oh, Aira. Aira. Uh, uh, uh. Kedah, especially the women's team, uh, Memang we have lah. a good history lah. Uh, mm. yes, yes. Sukmah ni belum pernah kalah lah. <laughs> pernah kot, but like... Yeah. But like most of the years, yang, recently, oh, memang menang lah. Oh, yeah, yeah. uh, yang tiga lah. Perumbas itu empat. First one, semua nasional bang. Kat situ. <laughs> yeah. uh, semua nasional. Yeah. Uh, uh, sebenarnya, siapa yang pendorong utama? Hmm. You dalam uh, menaik, men, apa, menaiki tahta kedudukan sekarang uh, dengan kemampuan uh, sekarang. Siapa yang mendorong? Kalau ikut you punya daddy ke, you punya mami ke, hmm. ataupun... Memang in ada coach yang yang memang terap kami ni. Yeah, selalu you. push ha, you. Push I you. think for sure my parents has affected me a lot. Lah. Like you know, in terms of like supporting me and all. But in terms of like squash, like specifically, of course, like I have few coaches as I grew along the way mm. when I was playing since eight years old. So I think 
the main like biggest supporters are like a few of my coaches yeah. along the way i think um they have helped me out to become this level oh. you know in terms of support like um you know financially uh -huh. obviously my parents are there to support me to push me but like really squash for me to become one of the top players is definitely like my coaches oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. umur berapa ya uh, siva datang ke bukit jalil mm -hmm. uh, masuk ke program i when i was 15 lah yang when i shifted my whole family shifted from kl to kedah mm -hmm. because uh, i think ex player ong benghi oh ah okay. uh, ong benghi uh, i was uh, training under him when i moved to bukit jalil because he was still a coach in uh, national center So I moved here. I think around 15, 16, I was here with uh, Benghi in the national program. Tapi sekolah I uh, KTJ, uh, Tuanku oh. Jafar, Kuala Tuanku Jafar. So back and forth lah. Yeah. Adakah perpindahan you punya parent uh, di uh, Bukit Yale ini sebab you? Ah uh, yeah, I think because <laughs> my brother pun uh -huh. dia when kita nak kedah lagi uh -huh. dia buat A level sekat KTJ, yeah. Kuala hmm. Tuanku Jafar. So Um, since uh, Ong Benghi contacted me, my family asked if I want to come over, train yeah. and all because the transition from junior to senior is not easy. You need like a real proper, like a proper guidance mm -hmm. to get into that senior level. So I thought, um, yeah, give it a risk to, you know, move from hometown to come KL. Yeah, right. It's very different, but yeah, I think my family mainly shifted because <laughs> of me, I would say. Oh. Yeah. Me kalau kalau lah. tak uh, keberatan uh, mami dengan daddy uh, bekerja sendiri ke berniaga ke buat apa? Ah uh, my mother is a teacher. Teacher ya. Teacher yeah. sekolah okay. sekolah rendah lah. Yelah. Primary oh. school. My dad used to have like he he's really retired now. Uh -huh. But then uh, he had uh, several jobs lah along Yelah. the way. So uh, yeah. senang senang nak manage <laughs> anak senang perempuan. Manage. Jauh. Siapa <laughs> sayang tak sayang anak tahu. Tak ingat ni kalau Elis kalau jumpa tak jumpa pagi dapat jumpa malam, kalau training malam dapat jumpa pagi <laughs> esok. Ini kalau sana seminggu dua minggu anak oh, call je. Yeah. Ah, ah, betul eh? Ya yeah. yeah, ada ada berada apa orang? Seorang je bang. Berdua yeah, berdua. Ya, yeah, yeah, bongsu lah. Ha. Uh. Oh yeah, macam tu. Yeah. Mana anak manjalah ni. <laughs> Memang anak manja. <laughs> Okey kalau you ingat kejohanan yang pertama you wakil negara dalam skuad nasional. Senior team. I think the fresh in my memory is British Junior. British, uh, Junior. British Junior Open when I was 9, 9 years old or oh, 10 years old. Yeah. Uh, that's like British Junior is like the second best junior tournament after World Juniors mm -hmm. is British Junior. So oh. the time I pergi I think I won third place in under 11. Hmm. 11 or 13. So I think so far In terms of junior level, that was my my first tournament yang I felt like okay, this is oh. time I you know. First you present for national team. National team you junior. Tiga. National team yes. Yeah, masa tu. Oh. I mean I started when under nine kan. Uh, they, yeah, so yeah, under yeah, nine, orang tengok okay. junior. This uh, is too young for national yeah, team. National hmm. team kan they wait until you're like 30, yeah, 14. Uh. So when under nine, uh, I won like a national tournament, uh, uh, like CMB, all these tournaments mm. under nine. Then that's when national team sees. If you have talent and all, and you're like best for your category, then they send you to like Asian, Asian oh, Junior, oh, yeah uh, so on. Baik kalau kita sebut saja squash ni nah, dia berket, berdekatan lah dengan uh, tenis, badminton. Kenapa you pilih squash? Actually, before <laughs> squash, I main banyak sport. So <laughs> I went for taekwondo, taekwondo swimming, swimming lah. badminton uh, pun ada. You play badminton or tenis? Uh, Badminton. Oh, badminton. N not crazy, <laughs> but like you know, before squash, there was a few sports that yeah. me and my brother would always go together. But once we started squash, then when I won my first tournament again, the under nine uh -uh. Uh, junior, ever since then, I stopped a lot of things lah. <laughs> banyak, yeah, banyak benda yeah. I stop. Betul, badminton ni pegang racket, squash pun pegang racket. <laughs> Tetapi badminton ni ada opponent. Yes. Kita lawan dengan opponent. Mm -hmm. Squash tak ada tahu. Ada, ha. dinding. Dinding tu. <laughs> Memang basic dia, you pun basic. Mula-mula memang pandang dinding. Ha, adakah salah satu daripada you nak main squash tu sebab Datuk Nicole? Ha. I mean for sure like um before starting the sports obviously you dengar cerita je right here uh. and there but like after started obviously I look up to Datuk Nicole. She's legend of the game. Yalah. Even to our country, one of the best best uh, women's uh, athletes so I look up to her a lot very humble person even though dah achieve banyak but still very very humble so yeah. it's something that I think everyone should follow lah 
Dia yeah. memang betul-betul jadi kenyataan lah Sebab <laughs> As Siva Sanggari Yelah. Merupakan orang yang uh, Dapat ikut jejak Datuk Nikol mm. uh, Banyak kejayaan yang dia cipta yeah. Di peringkat antarabangsa uh, Datuk Nikol is uh, You punya idola Yes, for sure uh, di Malaysia Kalau di luar Luar I think um, Used to, uh, Ranim El Belili From Egypt Tapi dah hmm. retire now oh. Retired like 2-3 oh, really? years uh -huh. But also Very good squash player on court, uh, but off court, very nice. Person. Opponent kuat uh, apa Dato ni Nicole. Dato Nicole lah tu. <laughs> yeah, uh, ada, Tapi uh, last last uh, keri, uh, di hujung kerjaya Dato Nicole dia kalah menang dengan apa Rina siapa ni? Ranim. 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 Yes. Uh, saya tengok satu result tu, alamak dia kalah. Kadang-kadang yeah. <laughs> kalah pun kalah kadang-kadang uh, apa ni dua tiga. Uh, yes, kadang, dia close. tak pernah kalah lah, tak pernah kalah tiga kosong. Tiga kosong, tak no, pernah. Tak tak pernah, pernah. Yeah. Kita tengok selalu. Bila bertemu dengan orang yang ada fizikal yang besar. Mana? You have to. Apa 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 perbezaan ha. apa you punya adapt, adaptasi you mm -mm. masa nak main tu? Um, have to have a different game plan lah for each player. Obviously the size is like even the height matters for us. Like even kalau a bit smaller body size and if they are tall, you ha. still have to play a different game. So ha. Um, obviously in terms it, it will be more physical If you play someone Who's slightly bigger Because uh -huh. Got block here and there You know Traffic yeah, here and there But um, It's more of a Tactics lah Into yeah, going uh, the game uh, Yes yeah. Kalau di opponent Kita orang besar uh, Mungkin kita main Lebih kepada grounder ke, Sebab yes. dia susah nak tunduk Yes uh, Kita uh, Asia size Kita rendah Mungkin kita banyak main spin mm. Ataupun main uh, Main chop yes, apa. Yes. Cuma Yang uh, Mungkin apa Pemirat pun nak suka uh, uh, di luar sana tak tahu. Uh, boleh uh, uh, Siwa ceritakan sedikit. Kalau buat Binten, kita mengawal gelanggang. Dia ada position dia. Yes. Bagi uh, squash, bagaimana seorang player, single player, untuk uh, you punya position? Hmm. Kalau basic for squash, yes. obviously um, when serving, you have to be opposite box. Yes. Um, tapi once you serve, You can actually stand anywhere, but when you're a junior, they always ask you to stand at the T. T oh. is the middle, oh, middle, middle area. Yes, yeah. the T and then the middle there. So, so that you can cover the pan or belakang. Yes. So a lot of them, when even when I was junior, every time you hit the ball, they ask you to run to T. Oh. But then, oh, yeah. as junior, you you don't know, kan? So you hit the ball, you stand there, ah. So like that's how. As you go senior, it gets easier because the the practice banyak kali. Mm. But ah. that's the main thing lah. You lepas hit balik ke T so that you can mm. pick up front or back. Ah, sebab masuk dia tu kalau ketika tak berhenti lepas you return tu, ah, you akan balik di position tu. Walaupun you pukul di berada di baseline belakang, yes. pam. Ah, lepas tu you akan move ke center yes. sebab you akan tengok kalau belas ini you tarik kaki untuk cover mm. belakang. Ah, dia lebih al sedikit lah macam badminton untuk cover court. Mm. Ah, an. Oh. Cuma kita dah tahu kan dia ni memang queen lah sekarang dekat ah. queen of squash lah ah. untuk Malaysia sekarang ni. Tapi ah, kita tak tahu juga hobi dia selain daripada ah. main squash ni apa benda sebenarnya. Shopping. Ah, sebab kita hobi. Ha. Saya kau boleh tidur lah. Tidur eh. <laughs> oh. eh penat you know penat. So yeah. but um, I mean uh, I like to go out my friends if I have the yeah. time you know. Social life not not as fun as other people other human who's not an athlete yeah. so whenever if i have the time it's not a hobby but you know whenever i not so penat or yeah. like you know have the time to go out i meet up my Menjadi friends menjadi seorang atlet ini uh, kebebasan sebagai remaja lah separuh hilang yes. memang <laughs> masa muda terbuang Yalah. more than separuh ha. nanti dah, dah tua menyesal lah, lah dulu aku masa muda tak pergi shopping <laughs> tak pergi tengok wayang asyik training yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, biasanya Siapa Orang yang paling dekat Dengan Siva Kalau nak mengadu ha, Ayah ke Mami ke Siapa ke Coach ke ha. Normally To my coach lah oh. Uh, oh my mom But Very rare Normally um, my coach yeah. Biasa Lagi satu Siapa yang selalu you, Taruh you lah Kalau you eh, Dia tengok game ni ha, Siapa First first Memang selalu komen you Papa ke, coach ke, mami ke, <laughs> atau no, abang ke? Normally, time main game, <laughs> after game or anything, uh, uh, I try to stay away lah yelah. because mm -hmm. I also have my yeah, emotions my, kan. You, uh, uh. I tak nak macam suddenly uh, marah siapa-siapa uh, kan. Lepas game? Lepas game. Normally, lepas game, I'll uh, straight go to my coach lah. Oh, coach I lah, memang, tak bagi dulu. Uh, memang why you buat ini, why you uh, buat ini. My uh, coach uh, lah. Oh, uh, coach. Uh, uh, bagus. Kadang-kadang kita tak tahu. Rupanya, uh, kita, 
permainan kita tu salah sebab yes. dia macam ni macam ni kos yang akan bagi hmm. you tengok tak dia yang ni dia punya tinggi macam ni dia punya weight macam ni kenapa you nak kena main bola atas eh you, you must be rendahkan bola cepatkan jatuh yes. kan lah macam tu Baik, uh, banyak lagi kita nak tanya ni. Banyak lagi kita uh, nak kita tanya tu masuklah. Kita nak tanya sejarah-sejarah kejayaan. Ya, yeah, sejarah uh, uh, kejayaan dan juga ada peristiwa yang uh, uh, Siba nak cerita sikit dengan kita. Yang, yang, lah, yang, yang mungkin lah yang kita tak tahu di sebalik peristiwa uh, tu. Baik, kan? kita rehat uh, seketika dan uh, kita sambung lepas ini. Apa benda yang berlaku tak, tak ke atas uh, Siba Sanggari? <laughs> okay. Uh, kita sambung uh, kembali uh, cerita kita dengan uh, Sibar Sanggari ini. Ada sesuatu yang Fit nak tanya ni. Ya, yeah, betul. Oh. Uh, peristiwa yang, yang mungkin yang menjadi yang uh, kenangan lah, pahit lah. Uh-huh. Untuk uh, sejarah sukan sejarah sukan negara kita juga. Oh. Uh, sebab kita macam tiba-tiba ratus kos kita. Alamak, eksiden. Oh. Eksiden? Uh, eksiden. Eksiden kebanyakan. Uh, Uh, boleh cerita tak kereta. Masa tu Apa ni. kecederaan yang you dapat Berapa lama you recover balik Semua yeah. You uh, nak ke box sendiri kereta ke Tak ada Dengan kawan Oh dengan kawan, kawan. Oh boleh you Apa uh, punca macam tu lah Imbas untuk, balik lah Sikit uh, lah, sikit uh, lah. Uh, uh, Untuk peminat-peminat uh, Siba sendiri uh, ya, Dia tahu you happy uh, Yang you duka you Dia dah tahu uh, <laughs> yeah. uh. um, Met an accident last uh, Last year June End of June June, eh? uh, and then um, quite major, quite serious. Oh. Tapi I had a few facial fractures. Oh. And the main one was my neck. Neck pun got fracture, Ui. which was the most important. Like it's then near the spine, kan? Uh-huh. That's why they said like very dangerous. Even for squash was like fifty fifty. Oh. Ah, tapi I I did operation lah. Tapi it's what for my face here. But then for my neck, I just let it heal by itself. Oh, uh, so I was I bought rehab for until like June and uh, July lah. Start July, July until October, November macam tu. July bulan tujuh, bulan tiga bulan empat bulan eh? Ah, uh, empat bulan lima bulan macam tu. And then slowly lah, slowly went into squash playing. Oh, oh, oh. But the main injury was my neck for my rotation. Ah, uh, that because I got fracture in the bone, so I needed to heal that part, and then um, and it's a very sensitive area, so yeah paling atas oh. on the spine, so um, it was it was mainly mainly the rotation lah yang I, I was worried about, I was scared about um, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean other than that, uh, obviously mentally it was very tough b- oh. because during yeah that lah. it was three weeks before Commonwealth Games, it was three oh. weeks yeah. Uh, uh, lepas tu, uh, Commonwealth Games, you perform tak? Tak, tak, tak main lah. Because tak three main weeks main before main. that. Uh, and I was also <coughs> selected as flag uh, bearer. So, <coughs> it made it quite hard. Um, I think when that happened, Mm-mm. everything on my mind was Commonwealth lah. Oh. Everything was about Commonwealth. But at the same time, you know, people were telling, uh, your health comes first and all these things. You know, um, I believe that everything happens for a reason lah. Yeah. You know, if... <coughs> um, It's all on God's hand. That's all I can say. Yeah. yeah. Itu akibat daripada accident itu. Berlaku je kemelangan tu malam ke siang ke di mana? Malam tu? lah. But malam, but uh, <coughs> anybody who ask me, I got no answer because uh-huh. when that happened, I tidur. Oh, you tidur lah. I was asleep. asleep. You tak ingat apa-apa. You tahu dah. dah I, I asleep. Uh, bangun in emergency. Oh. oh. Tapi yang ingat masa tu <coughs> di highway. Ke di, di mana kesas highway Dia orang I dengar je lah MX ha. highway so, Everything oh. I dengar je Oh masa ha. yang pergi Oh masa tu kena di uh, Di Me oh. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, Itu uh, You punya uh, Keadaan You punya partner yang dalam My friend uh, Dia okay Sebab oh. normally driver kan Dia dah ready lah uh, ready Normally lah, nak, oh, oh. The, he, oh, I feel yeah. in general Drivers are a bit more aware Of yeah, what's yeah, happening yeah, betul, betul. He has a few Kadang-kadang Kecederaan dia tak serius lah. Not as serious as mine, but obviously still got his, you know, he has a micro fracture bit on collarbone, but not as serious as mine. Oh. Yeah. Hari pertama, you turun selepas daripada accident, you recovery sikit. Hari pertama turun training tu, apa perasaan? I think uh, ada trauma. <laughs> I datang rehab after one week, sebab I tak boleh duduk rumah lama oh. sangat. Oh. I, I damn stress duduk rumah. I macam... 
I'm not used to it kan yeah, Every right. time on the go Even mm, Tak ada buat apa kan Yeah cannot do anything So I I told my dad I cannot do this <laughs> lah Because I was wearing neck collar kan Oh <laughs> Tapi uh, My face was swollen a bit Tapi I said I'll wear my topi And pergi dehab lah Because Lower body kan Still okay can lah. use So cycling can So uh, when I came back I mean I was happy to do something lah At least boleh buat something kan So um, Yeah I mean Staying home was tough That was the toughest part So To come back and do something, it's, it's, it's yeah, something hmm. like, yeah. Satu legend, uh, squash ni kalau lelaki nama dia uh, Major Maniam. Yes. Wah, dia pun tangan kiri. Dahsyat kan? Eh? Dia boleh double stroke tu. Dia pukul angin, <laughs> pukul angin. Betul kan? Eh? Uh, ah, yeah. ya. Ha, can, ha. can. Saya ingat lagi dia punya specialist lah. Yeah. Major Maniam is uh, now maybe 65, 67 lah umur dia. Uh, hmm. Okay. Kalau ada seseorang dalam uh, squash yang... Boleh yang you nak ucapkan rasa terima kasih You nak appreciate sangat uh, Siapa dan silakan Seorang je susah lah uh, uh, Definitely uh, uh, my family boleh. for sure Yelah itu uh, selain <laughs> pada you punya family um, lah. My coach lah my coach There lah. was like two to three coaches that Was really there for me During uh-huh. my down Yelah. times and also up times oh. I think the most important part about coach is Your connection with them Mm. If uh, I think some people susah dapat connection when you don't have a connection with coach it's tough. But for me so far when I'm with a coach and I know I have connection it's more of a coach but also like a friend or a father you know like everything in like one role. So definitely my coach kat sini mm-hmm. uh, coach Ajas and also coach uh, David Palmer mm-hmm. back in the US. Yeah. Um I think they both have been there for me. Especially mm-hmm. this period lah, macam last year, you know, uh-huh. when all this accident happened, uh, even when I, a lot of like rumors, a lot of stories, but there were like few people that were that was always there for me, and I think uh, these two coaches were the ones who like really believed in me and mm-hmm. like pushed me to get back up again. So oh. yeah. kita nak tanya satu soalan lah. Dia cakap dia ada coach dekat US. Sebenarnya uh, Siva juga. Uh, bermain untuk college dia di US. Uh, uh, kita itu, tak tanya kita, juga. Kita tak tanya tadi dia masih study ke dah kerja. Yeah, ke sana, dia ha. baru aja dia ada cerita kat saya uh, di belakang uh, tabik. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, dia baru habis belajar degree. Jadi uh, ada tak uh, apa macam perancangan nak um, sambung master lepas ke, ni uh, uh, sebab uh, you belajar dekat US kan yeah. uh, dan uh, wakil juga college. Untuk my squash. 20, uh, 2019, I I moved to the US. Uh, I got scholarship from Cornell University. Mm-hmm. Full scholarship. Full scholarship. And also, my coach... Uh, the reason I chose it, that college was because my coach used to be world number one yeah. from Australia. So, the main reason I went there was because of him. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I baru graduate in May. So, finished four years. Uh, obviously... A lot of people are asking me, what's your plan? Mm. Nak buat masters ke tak? Even my parents, but um, I'm going to give myself a few years to fully focus on squash because I think ever since uh, sekolah rendah, I, I always balance both. And it's not easy to balance both. Uh, I think a lot of athletes who studies as well knows this. Tapi yeah. I just want to give me some time to just try to focus on squash. See how far I can go and then, I don't know, give me a few years and then maybe I'll continue masters, maybe I'll work. Tak tahu. Uh, Siwa ni lah Sebagai atlet contoh uh, Apa yang kita cuba lakukan uh, Di KBS ataupun di Majlis Sukan Negara sendiri uh, Bekas-bekas atlet ini Mempunyai pencapaian Education yang terbaik Ada mm-hmm. degree, ada master, mungkin ada PhD uh, Kerana uh, kesedaran ini Melalui atlet-atlet seperti Siwa ini Akan membuka mata bagi Anak-anak kita, oh dulu, oh tak boleh main sukan lah, tak, nanti tak boleh belajar lah kan. Oh, kita, kita nak, kita nak uh, buang benda-benda itu. Kita nak buang uh, apa itu. perspektif itu. Kita melalui uh, mes, melalui mes, uh, di mereka akan memberi penerangan. Atlet kita macam ni, macam ni, belajar macam ni. Baik, you sendiri Sipa, macam mana you membahagian masa, training dan pelajaran? Of course, uh, when I first move there, hmm. tak senang lah because Yalah. I don't know schedule, I don't know the culture, uh-huh. I don't know anything. So, But uh, as I've been there... First year memang susah lah, away from family, everything. But then, um, as I've been there, second year, third year, I know how to schedule my own schedule. So, for example, for me, I do two sessions still. Mm-hmm. Tapi morning, for example, morning I got class, like 9 to 11, don't know, it depends. And then training, and then pergi class again. Oh. And then malam, study ke, buat uh-huh. assignment ke, it's like that lah. Yeah so, lah. majority of the days, 
plan macam tu je. Ha. Ha. Pergi sana pun tak ada enjoy tu. Okay. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Ya. Tak enjoy. Very rare. Very rare. Oh, tak boleh jalan-jalan lah. Tak boleh lah. Kena on. Kena on. Aham-aham pun tak lah lah. <laughs> Itu lagi kena simpan jauh lah. Sebab mana nak bahagi lagi. Uh, <laughs> itulah pengorbanan seorang atlet. Uh, ada sesuatu yang ingin dia perkatakan oleh Fifin? Kalau uh, uh, sekarang... Siva dah jadi senior lah, kira ah, senior, senior lah. kan dalam uh, national team. Uh, apa nasihat Siva ah. untuk adik-adik, adik-adik yang nak jadi atlet, nak jadi pemain squash? Ah. Apa I, nasihat uh, yang paling ba- paling yang you nak sampaikan kat diorang ni? I think for me, if I want to give advice, you need to be hard working lah. Ah. Kalau malas-malas, memang you can, even you talented, you malas, you can go. You can go far, tapi... Hmm. There will be a level where you cannot go already. So for me, I always believe in hard work. Another yeah. thing, I believe, uh, I think Malaysia has a mindset of like, kalau main, kalau play any sport, tak boleh study. Hmm. Like what uh, you all said. Yeah. But I, I don't agree with that. I yes. feel, I feel, your life is just obviously passion is your sports. My my passion is my squash. Tapi there's a lot more to life as well. But if you don't open your mind. And you're so narrow-minded. Uh, you you're not playing sports forever, kan? Yeah. So like after a certain point, what are you gonna do? Don't everyone after sport pergi coaching? Yeah. But if you have degree, what well, maybe you have a different plan after you retire from your sport. So I would suggest to always still continue studying. But again, you can can always do both. I feel <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. nampak dengar tu bagi uh, atlet atlet. Uh, muda kita lah yang ingin mencabarui uh, bidang uh, sukat terutama skuas. <coughs> Anda kena sanggup berkorban. Uh, masa nak enjoy main PUBG semua tak tak? Uh, yang ni, ni nak pergi ni shopping apa semua. Kerana uh, contohnya apa juga yang diperkatakan oleh masyarakat sukan. Kalau you dah imbah sukan ni separuh hidup you dah kena buang. Kena tumpu kepada sukan. Enjoy, enjoy tak ada. Betul lah, pengorbanan siwan. tu Betul. memang besar. Ya, itulah pengorbanan yang paling besar. Dan ganjarannya juga besar. Itu aja. Ah, saya masih bang. Ah, saya masukkan kita bersama dengan uh, uh, siapa senggari minggu ini. Uh, baik, kita jumpa lain kali. Uh, Selamat papan terpapan. Uh, kita jumpa minggu depan. <laughs>